Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show Evening Edition, where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yanni Churcho Joel, the only Live Past Crazy Special, so what better place to be than here with me? I hope you guys had a great, great day. It has been a long day for me. I'm a little tired, uh, but we are here and ready to go. We got things to do, people to see, and places to go. So I hope you guys are... Why well, won't it? Okay. I've never seen it do that. That's something new. Okay. That's all right. Hello, hello, hello. We got to get this. Doing? doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, get this uh, broadcast started, and um, I'll need to leave a little bit early tonight, if that's all right with you. But I did want to stop by and talk about the things that you should not buy. Since yesterday, we, um, we did talk about the things that you should buy to build wealth. And today, we're going to talk about three things that you shouldn't buy. And I'm going to use a little play on terms, right? Play on the words in, in what I'm talking about, the things that you should not buy. But as we move forward um, tonight, you know, there's always this mentality, and we have to come to the realization that, hey, we live in a consumeristic, consumeristic society, right? Consumerism is at the forefront of everything that we know, like, and love, and that's how everything is basically um, set up, right, for us. So in looking at the three things that you shouldn't buy, I'm coming from the perspective, and, you, and I know you're saying to yourself, who in the world is America's number one financial rebound coach to tell me what I should and should not buy with my money. I was going to say, you didn't even introduce yourself. You went straight to talking, Lynn. Yes, yes. But I, I have to help them out for a second. For those who are ready to go with me to level up, to go to that next level, see the things that you shouldn't buy. And I want you to keep timing at the forefront of this conversation. All right? There's a time and a place for everything, okay? Keep timing at the forefront. The reason that many of us get ourselves into situations, financial situations that are negative, financial situations that are contrary to what we would like, uh, low credit scores, high debt, right? Situations that we mm -hmm. get ourselves into is because the time was not right when we bought the things that we purchased. And one of the things, and, 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 and I'm guilty too, so let me just share this. We are forever talking about we need a bigger house, right? Forever mm -hmm. talking about we need a bigger house, y'all. Malachi, do not go that close to that dirty, mucky water. I'm sorry, y'all. My, my baby is getting too close to the edge of this disgusting cesspool of water here at this park. But, um, so I had to make sure he doesn't get in that. But um, what I wanted to say is in looking at the things that you should not buy, it's about timing. Yes, you want the big, you know, the big house. You want the car. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with those things. There's absolutely nothing wrong with those things. Please hear me and hear me well. Because those things were here and created for us. But what's wrong is the time. Okay. And looking at the timing that you go in and buy those things. For many people, the timing is not right for you to purchase that home or that car because you haven't made the best decisions, right, with the funds that you had in the past. So it's ultimately about the timing for you. Get the situation under control first. So what are the things you should not buy? I want to say this first. Never buy things for the wrong reasons all right mm -hmm. you should never buy things for the wrong reasons you don't buy a, a better a different car because your neighbor got a better car you don't buy a larger house because your sister got a, a, a larger house see all of these things play into this right hello sharika 
Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video out. Buddy, we're going up this hill right here. Okay? Don't forget to share this out because there's someone in your community who does need to hear this. All right? They may not want to hear it right now, but it's definitely good information for them. Okay? So make sure that you get this shared out in your community so you never buy things for the wrong reason. And I think that's detrimental to a lot of the financial situations. No, yes. Yeah. You're going to run in a moment, buddy. Okay. So you don't buy things for the wrong reasons and you don't buy into the things that you don't want. You say, well, Leah, what are you talking about? That's, that's, what do you mean don't buy into the things that you don't want? Don't buy into the unhappiness, no joy, the sad, sunken situations. The blame game is essentially what I'm trying to say to you, right? Don't buy into that situation where you say, well, he or she did that to me, and that's the reason that I am this way. Or JoJo tells you her story over and over. He said, I was ugly, fat, stupid, ain't going to be nobody. You know, all the words. I, don't, I can't tell it like she can because that's her story, right? That's her story. But she would say at that time she bought into his idea, right? of what she was. So do not ever buy into the idea of things that you do not want. So guys, when we talk about that, the third things, do not buy into the fact that you think it is too late to do anything different. Okay? So what do I mean by that? There could be so many different things. You decide what it is for you, but you don't have to buy into the fact as long as you are alive as long as you are breathing there's always an opportunity for you to be able to do something different so for many of you you know that as america's number one financial rebound coach i train people i help you make keep and grow your money through investing okay so in looking at it you may say well i i haven't started investing and i'm getting on up there i'm in my 40s and 50s and 60s and in my late 30s and I haven't started to invest yet. Guys, it is never too late to get started. That's the message that I want to share with you today. So those are the three things you should not buy into. The three things you should not buy into. You never buy things for the wrong reasons. You don't buy into the things that you do not want. Okay? And finally, do not buy into the fact that you think it's too late for you to get it done the way that you want to get it done. All right, guys. That's why I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it. America's number one. You will, too. And I wanted to get that information out to you. I know it was rather quick tonight, but I thought that would be uh, something for you to go and let marinate for a moment and go think about the things that you bought into that you shouldn't have that are currently impacting your lives. All right, guys? All right. Then you're going to tell me how to reach you? Absolutely, guys. You can find me all over social media, but you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at Demons Speak. That's Demons. No demons here, y'all. And if you want to schedule a time to have a consultation, you say, well, Lynn, I need some help but I don't exactly know what it is at this moment but you want to schedule a consultation go to bit.ly slash talk to Lynn so I can help guide you in the right direction as to what it is that you would like to see in your financial future you create the future that you want to see but you got to start it today all right guys all right miss co-host back over to you all right guys um and then one of the things is Lynn said, um, don't buy things you don't want. Sometimes there's a lot of things we don't want. We just buy it because we think it's going to make us feel better. You know, that retail therapy, you don't want that. You just buy it because you think it's going to make you feel better. Right. And sometimes that's not, that's not always the case. So be mindful. And then don't let that, it's just the dollar mentality keep you broke. Okay. Because y'all know I'm the queen of that. So um, don't let it keep you broke, y'all. All right, guys. So the fearless stock for today is, and I had two. Um, 
So I couldn't decide. So we, whenever I open up my mouth, what I, whatever falls out is what is going to be it. So <laughs> today's, because <laughs> I have two and I may even use both of them. So I think I'm going to read this one because um, a lot of times, and, and y'all know this is my pet peeve, people that complain um, about absolutely everything. I just need you to be thankful for something. But listen to this. If you want to free yourself, you must first become conscious enough to understand your predicament. Then you must commit yourself to doing the inner work of freedom. A lot of times I tell y'all, some people are rather... Um, deal with the pleasure of crazy than the pain of di the, the discipline of freedom just because they don't want to do the work that is required for them not to. So you know what your predicament is. A lot of people say, oh, I, I met, am I really living in crazy? I don't know. Yes, you are. You know you're living in crazy, but you've got to come to the point where you actually understand your predicament and exactly what your crazy looks like for you. And once you understand your predicament, then you can start to get down to the nitty gritty of the freedom and to do the work of it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to do the work. Even if it is your predicament is you work in a job that you hate, your predicament is, um, you know, you hate coming home because you hate the relationships that is inside of your home, or you hate talking to certain people on the phone because you hate the relationship of that, or your crazy could be you married to a crazy husband, your kids are crazy, whatever your crazy may be, you have got to understand what particular predicament that you are in in order to get to the freedom of understanding it. Your life is dependent on it. Um, if you don't and here, let's use somebody for example. I'm sure and everybody got somebody in their family like this who's been in a crazy relationship for 50 years. And they're like, I don't know why she put up with that man. Or well, I don't know why he puts up with that woman because she's crazy. And they've been with them for 50 years. And they are slowly dying. Their health has declined. They look bad. They ain't got no money. They broke. They always complaining because they are oblivious to their predicament or they don't want to take their predicament seriously. So when I was with my abuser and I would go to work every day, that's why I hate wearing makeup, is I would wear makeup every single day, so much to cover up the bruises. And then when I left the abuser and I stopped wearing makeup and I saw some of the friends that I used to work with, the very first thing that they said to me was, Oh my God, I'm so glad you left because you look like death. Like you look so bad, we couldn't even look you in your face. Your face was swollen. Your eyes were always crazy. You didn't look like you were really here, like your mind was somewhere else. And I was like, well, dog, did I really look that bad? And they was like, yes, y'all make sure you really look that bad. That's because I was not willing to deal with my predicament and I was being okay and comfortable in my crazy instead of dealing with doing the discipline to get the freedom outside of my crazy once i realized that my life depended on me changing my situation then things started to change and and you may think jojo it's really not that serious i promise you it is that serious if you don't think it's that serious take a look at the people around you and the things that they're doing and have they been complaining about the same thing all the time? Have they been in the same crazy relationship their whole life? Have they been at the same job for 50 years and absolutely hate it, but yet they get up every morning to go to that same job that they hate? You know somebody like that. And they are perfectly okay living their life like that. Period. That's okay, right? And then your life is dependent. Is everything okay, Lynn? Yeah, he's just flying life, his drone. Oh, then your life is depend uh, is depending upon you living in that crazy. So you've got to decide, guys, are you going to be dependent on continue to live in crazy or are you going to do something about it? If you want to free your, yourself, you must first become conscious enough to understand your predicament. And then once you understand it, what are you going to do? about it because you're going to have to do something about it.
So, guys, I do have a freebie for you, and it is um, the five steps to live past crazy. If you go to bit.ly, you got five the five K life. It is the five steps to live past crazy, and truly, the first thing is to sit still and be quiet so that you can start to live past crazy. And and with that sitting down and being quiet, it's taking a look at your predicament and it's finding what are you going to do about it? Exactly what are you going to do? So once you decide what are you going to do, then you can continue to move forward. Guys. So um, we just ask that you guys share the video. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, we do have a YouTube channel. So that they can binge watch all the YouTube videos over there. So um, they are by topic and by title. So that you can pick a topic that you want them to see. So that they can um, watch it and share it with somebody. Share it with somebody who you know needs to live past crazy. Tell a friend. Tell a foe. Tell a co-worker. Tell an ex. <laughs> tell somebody else you're in a relationship with. Tell somebody that drives you crazy. I'm just saying share the video and if you know they ain't gonna watch the video to them on over here to the fearless one show evening edition so that we can get them all the way together so that we can get them straight um and it ain't about getting them straight and i i don't want to come off arrogant or that i'm better than anybody else however what i do want to do is to share with you my story so that you don't have to live in crazy you don't have to i want you to learn from my mistakes like so you don't have to do it at all. Now, if you yes. choose to do it, that is on you. Then by all means, carry on with your life. But surely the good is eventually you're going to get tired of living in crazy. And when you do, I'll be here waiting. But make sure you get a copy. Uh, go grab your copy of the Five Steps on How to Live Past Crazy. And that's bit.ly slash 5K Life. So make sure you get a copy of that. Lynn, anything else before we go? Uh, you I guys have any questions for us? I think we're good over here. Uh, JoJo, I don't see um, any questions popping up on this screen unless you have a second screen up. Um, mm -hmm. But this little one trying to race me out here in this park, and I don't have anybody to hold my camera. So I'm going to have to lead a broadcast so I can race him and put him in his place. But if, I, if I'm <laughs> sore in the morning in my legs and I can't hardly move him, you know what happened. Right. <laughs> that is, that is. Sometimes you got that's what you got to do. You got okay. to tell them all about it. So that is that is for sure. Well, guys, if you are, uh, thank you, Sharika, for saying that. She said no questions right now. If you guys have any questions or any topics you want us to cover, please let us know so that we can get it together. Um, for me, I know I'm an open book. I don't mind sharing whatever. I know that's going to help you. I'm going to share it with you. So if you have any questions, if you need that personal cheerleader, just reach out to me. Um, and I got you, boo. Now, I think we all need a personal cheerleader. Like for me, today was one of those days when I needed a personal cheerleader because I am I am too tired. Work oh. was rough. It was all day meetings. And then, you know, an hour and 40 minute commute home. Then you come home and everybody and their grandma Needs has questions something. that only you can seem to answer. Yeah. And then I was like, can I just have five minutes to myself? And they looked at me like, uh, no, you can't have five minutes to yourself. So sometimes we all need that personal cheerleader. But my friend, your little sticky notes come up. So when I was having a day, here's my sticky note. Y'all remember this from the morning show? Somebody's waiting to hear my voice, and they will not move until I move. So that put a little pep in my step to finish the day strong. So I hope we can put a little pep in your step, too. All right, guys, I hope you have a great night. We will see you back here tomorrow. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let us know. Please make sure you share the video with somebody you know, because we're looking for people who are living in crazy and, and for those who are living in crazy and they don't know, but you know that right. they're living in crazy. Yeah. I can, can I add one more thing before we go closing out the show? Uh, guys, tonight, mm -hmm. Rita Oliver is doing a Disclose Before You Disrobe uh, Summit, and she'll be, we'll be going live at 8.30. We'll be talking about marriage and money, basically. 
and looking at the books, looking at your finances, looking at your bank accounts. How does that? How does that work? I'll be sharing my story too because you know I was Miss I N D E P E N D E N T, right? Until <laughs> I had to recognize yes, it wasn't yeah. all about me. So how do you move? How do you transition? How do you get to that point? That's what we're going to be talking about: marriage and money. Disclose before you disrobe, right? Because That's that funny. financial talk is more important than that pillow talk. But if your finance is right, your pillow talk gonna be right too. I. <laughs> And that's, that's real, right. real recognize real. Here, yeah, baby. That's right. Okay. That is for sure. That I, is for sure. All right, guys. Well, you have a good night, and we will see you here tomorrow evening at 7.15. Have a good one. Signing off.